Okay, it's day 24 and today I decluttered my little toolbox. This was rough for me because tools are useful. I love tools. But as we've learned, they're only useful if you're using them. So here's what I got. Here's a little saw. I love this thing because it's a little fold out saw. And actually I do use this, um, so I don't want to get rid of it. But thing is, I have two. Why do I have two? I think when I love something so much, I'm like, this is amazing. Wouldn't it be nice to have a backup? Or wouldn't it be nice to have one at the office and at home? Um, but I don't need to saw things at the office. Maybe once in a while I sort of did back when I was doing stick stretching and I was sawing the bamboos. But why would I still need two? Because even if I'm sawing bamboo sticks at the office, what am I sawing at home? I live in an apartment in the city. So as much as I love the little saw, it's great. I love it. I don't need two. I'm gonna let go of one of the little folding saws. This little wrench. Um, I don't really use these little fixed wrenches because whenever I need a wrench, I always use my adjustable wrench. So I don't need this one, even though it's a perfectly good wrench. I think I've never used it. And where do these little stray tools even come from? I think they come from maybe once in a while when like repairmen or something swing by and then they like forget a random tool and then um and then they don't want to come and retrieve it because it's just one little puny tool and then i'm like it's a perfectly good tool so i'm not going to get rid of it but then i never use it so we're gonna bid farewell to this little wrench that never never gets used and here's a super cool little thing it's um it's a magnetic retrieval thing so you can like un unfold it here and like this is like a magnet and you know if you drop like a screw or something in a little deep crevice you can retrieve it with this. This is amazing. I love this thing. I love this thing but guess what? I've never used it once. That's why it's still like shaped like it was from the package because this is something that I could have used at many, many times in my past, but it didn't exist. Um, so when I saw this online, I was like, that's what I, that's what I could have used back then. Um, but I've never actually used it since I've bought it. And I don't know if that's Murphy's law or what, but, um, but that's that. And, and what's this? It's a brand new one of this in the package. Again, why did I buy another one? I think what happened was I forgot that I had bought this and I just got so excited again when I saw this one online. I was like, that's amazing. I could totally use that. So now I have two. Um, maybe I bought one for the office, even though at the office, when are you ever gonna retrieve? When would you ever need to retrieve a fallen metal thing at a chiropractic office? Random piece of sandpaper. I always think, oh, I don't want to throw away this sandpaper. Sandpaper is so useful. What if I only need just a little piece and I'll just save this piece? In truth, if I ever need sandpaper, I rarely use the scrap because, first of all, I forget that I have a scrap. Second of all, I usually am being weirdly picky and then need a special grit. Oh, this is the wrong grit. It's too rough. It's too fine. And then I go buy more sandpaper. So why do I need to hang on to random scraps of sandpaper? I don't tuning fork. This is an office tool. I actually only need one tuning fork. I have two. Uh, why did I have two? Oh, different pitches for different reasons. Um, I only really ever use them when I'm trying to figure out if someone fractured something or not. So I actually don't need these two. Um, plus I'm heading towards retirement from that career anyway. So I don't need this extra tuning fork pliers super handy except i have another one i have this one is a little longer and this one is shorter i probably got this one first um because in my head i was i had this weird thing where it was like oh i live in a small apartment so i should buy small tools um i don't know about that logic but anyway that's what i did 
I don't remember why I got this bigger one. Um, the bigger one is better. And so whenever I need pliers, I always grab the bigger one. The bigger one is the more handy tool. I can let go of the little one because they do the same job and I don't need to. Partly used containers of various adhesives. Um, why do I keep these? Because they're expensive, but um, why do I keep buying different ones? Because I always forget that I have one, or it's not really good anymore, or I can't find it, or it's for the wrong material, or something. So I need to just throw them away. Especially this one, the E6000. Why would I throw away so much of this like perfectly good E6000? Because I know that I have an even fuller one in my craft section. Because again, this is something that I always forget that I have, and the one in the toolbox never gets used. And by the time I get around to opening it, I'm sure it will be stiff and useless. So I'm gonna get rid of these and try to be better in the future. This tiny cutting board. Again, I lived in a tiny apartment, so I thought, I live in a tiny apartment. This tiny cutting board would be perfect. It wasn't perfect. I've never used this tiny cutting board. If I ever needed a cutting board, what did I use? I used big pieces of cardboard, or guess what? I have a big cutting board. So as cute as it is, I'm gonna let it go. Never used it once. Soldering supplies. I've got some solder and some desoldering braid and some tip tinner. You know, a long, long time ago, maybe 35 years ago, um, I did a fair amount of soldering. I was that electronics nerd. Um, but I can't remember when's the last time I did soldering and it was probably a one-off thing. I have a vague memory of um, it being a one-off thing that actually didn't even turn out well at all. So I think my soldering days are over. I really don't need these supplies. I'm not even sure where my soldering iron is, but I definitely don't need these. Random strip of felt um, with adhesive. I think I used to use these in the office on the back of the office chairs so that when people sat in them and they hit the wall, they wouldn't like ding the wall. But I don't have those chairs anymore or anything like that. And I'm not sure what I would use this for. It's getting pretty ratty also, so needs to go. Random toothbrush for cleaning things. I know, these are so useful. Toothbrushes are great for cleaning. Um, but the thing is, I have a lot of random toothbrushes in different places that I save because, oh, that'd be really good for cleaning things. You don't need a whole bunch of them all over the place. So it's okay to let go of the toothbrush. Broken paint scraper thingy. Um, yes, it's useful to have a little scraper to scrape, but I have another scraper and this one is broken. So whenever I need one, I don't ever use the broken one, but I hang on to it because it's only a little bit broken and you can still use most of it, but I never use it and it's a little bit broken, so gonna let it go. This little hammer. I know, hammers are useful. Why would I get rid of this little hammer? Why do I have this little hammer? Um, again, I moved into a little apartment and I thought, oh, it's a little apartment. I should have a little toolbox and put little tools in it. But the thing is, this little hammer is so little that I I, uh, I hit my finger about as often as I hit the nail. It's really hard to hammer with this stupid little hammer. So what do I usually use? Um, I do have a bigger hammer that I moved up to Sacramento, but in the little apartment, I use this. Someone gave me this. It's called a hand hammer. So it's just like a little weighted thing and you just like bam it into the wall or whatever. So this little hand hammer is amazing. I love that thing. I use it always instead of this one. Why do I keep this one? Because it's a perfectly good hammer. Also, it's got the little claw. Like what if I need to pry things up? Yeah, well, I never I don't have anything in this apartment that would need to be pried up, actually. And when I did pry up things from the office, like back when we replaced the carpet and stuff, 
I used a crowbar and um, better tools and a big normal size hammer, not the little tiny hammer. So as cute as it is and as perfectly good as it is, I'm gonna have to let go of the little hammer. Box cutter. A box cutter is great. It's a great tool. I love this box cutter, but I have another box cutter. It's a little small pocket knife style box cutter. This one is a lot more compact. This blade is a lot easier to um, change than this one. Um, not even sure where this one came from. I think this was one of those things where somebody must have left it behind at some point. Um, but this is the better box cutter. But this one's been with me for so many years, so this is like a little friend. Um, but guess what? I have an identical one, pretty sure, up in Sacramento, and I don't need this one in San Francisco. I very rarely use box cutter here at all. How do I open my boxes? I usually use my keys or the scissors that are right near the door. So I can have one box cutter, I don't need two. This is similar, it's like a specialized, uh, this is actually a carpet cutter. And I have another one up in Sacramento. I don't need a carpet cutter in the city. I bought it back, you know, years ago, again, when we were changing out the carpet in the office. Um, and I was personally by myself cutting the new carpet to fit the office. That was silly. But anyway, that's what it was for. Great tool. I think my carpet cutting days are over. I don't want to do that again. So I think it's okay to let go of the carpet cutter. Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers are a great tool. Everybody needs a screwdriver. And this is the screwdriver that I always use. It's not the world's best screwdriver, I guess, but it's my favorite for for whatever reason it's the one that i always pick up no matter what so since i always pick up this screwdriver and it's got all the little different sizes that i ever realistically need in the city then i can let go of this screwdriver and this one and this one and this one and this one i don't need any of these um, you might say, oh, but you might need these little ones. I really don't. And I actually have one of those little kits with tiny screwdrivers when you ever do need a tiny one. So I really don't need any of these. I think most of these were strays that just appeared in the apartment at some point. Someone forgot them or something. Um, I don't need any of these. So I can let them all go. <sighs> so that's my tools.